Well, I had a nice surprise this morning. I woke up at uh, about a little bit after 8 o'clock, 8, 10-ish, and I realized I don't have to get up that early. Yeah. So I set my alarm for longer and got another good 45 minutes of sleep. And it was awesome. It was perfect. I think you kind of know. Chewy, I was wondering if you wanted to go for a ride. Do you want to go for a ride? Do you want to take Daddy to work? Do you want to go for a ride? How exciting! Oh, it's so Oh, do you want to get in the car? He loves a car ride. Do you want to go for a ride? Little wiggly boy. You little wiggly boy. Danielle's already out in the car waiting for me, and dumb me, I forgot to get my coffee. They don't have coffee in the office on Saturday, so if I don't get it, then I'm not going to get it at all. So, I'm taking the last few seconds I have, brewing me some java, and hopefully I can get out of here in time to make it to work. I hate working Saturdays. Chewie's going to come on a ride with us this morning, as you saw, to take me to work. He gets so hyped up over car rides. It's crazy, like way beyond anything I've seen in dogs. To the point where he like starts panting from like him possibly going into cataract arrest. Cardiac arrest? No, it's cadillac. It's, it's cadillac arrest. How are you feeling this morning? Um, we'll see. I still can't talk very much. I'm tired of this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's been on and off sick for a while now. I told her that we need to do a blood transfusion so she can have my superior immunity. But uh, she just keeps saying something about our blood not being the same type and she could die from it. This is Danielle and I's personal <laughs> mug. Well, we have two of them, one for me, one for her. It is the, we call, what we call the Me You Chew mug. So that is me, that's Danielle as in you, and that's Chew as in Chewy. <coughs> so my mug is called the Me You Chew mug because as you saw the order, Danielle's mug is called the You Me Chew mug. So, because that's, you to her and me to her and then obviously you. So me you chew you you me chew. It's kind of like Chinese nicknames for our mugs. Although they're probably not really Chinese words, they just sound that way. Yeah. Right now I am getting together a list of things I need to get at Walmart. Happens this happens about every Saturday because. Sundays, every other Sunday, as you know, we have dinner with Jess and Jordan, and this week is our week, so I'm not going to give too much away, but I, I do have to go shopping, and you'll come along with me. I am on my way to Walmart now. It's kind of difficult to vlog by yourself. <clears throat> I still feel kind of, kind of icky, but you got to do what you got to do. I have to work tonight for an hour. I left early on Thursday, remember? So I'm, I'm going to go in at 6 because i got to pick up Chris at 7 anyway. So might as well do my time later than earlier. But I uh, have my trusty list here, front and back. It's easy for me to put together a shopping list if I split it up in section. Like I have... Oh, somebody's getting pulled over. That stinks. I don't know if anybody's getting pulled over. Cops turn around. That was crazy. The cop was going after a truck and the truck turned around to try to get rid of him and the cop was on him. <laughs> that was so funny. The cop was like, you're not going anywhere. The truck had taken a right down a street, swung back around, turned left, and the cops t did a Yui in the middle of the road. That was crazy. It was so funny. 
knock on wood, I have never been pulled over before. I'll probably get pulled over soon because I said that. Or get pulled over because I'm vlogging while driving. <laughs> that'll be, that'll be it. Probably get pulled over while driving and vlogging. I don't even know if that's illegal. I know in some states you can't talk on the phone while driving, but that's not, it's not really a law in Virginia as far as I know. And I'm not really talking on the phone, I'm talking to a phone and talking to all of you. Got ourselves a Penguins fan here in Lynchburg. I like that. And it's a Crosby jersey. Super cool. Oh yeah. I've been circling the parking lot for like five minutes and someone in the front just pulled out. And it's not a handicapped spot. Oh yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Well, I'm back from Walmart, and uh, it was crazy today. I I would have vlogged more <clears throat> at Walmart. I didn't vlog at all because I could barely drive my cart through the mass of people. Like, people would just be walking and walking and walking, and then they'd stop in the middle of the aisle, and there's no room on either side for me to get around, and I just... It took me forever to shop today. I didn't even get a ton of stuff. I stuck to, like produce, the meat and dairy section. I didn't even mess with any of the inside stuff and I still took forever. It's crazy. I did purchase something that was on sale. I know. And I've always wanted one but I never knew where you could get them and I think they're really really cool and they're not very hard to take care of so I decided to to get one. I got myself a little succulent it was only like two dollars, it was on sale. And they're pretty easy to take care of because they're basically like cacti, but they don't have those pointy things. So it's like I adopted a little succulent today. I'm putting together dinner right now and I did most of the preparation before showing you the video just because it'd be kind of it's just easier to explain it before I actually finish it, so I'll show you what I, where I'm at right now, and then I'll kind of go through, I'll explain the ingredients and everything. So these are, this is the before. Um, as you can see, it's chicken breast, which I've flattened out with a meat tenderizer thing. And so after you smash the crap out of your chicken, what you do next is you spread some pesto make your own. You can buy it store-bought. But you spread some pesto down the middle. <clears throat> and then the second part is the roasted red peppers. As you can see, one peeking out a little bit over here. On top of the roasted red peppers, you put some artichoke hearts that have been chopped. And then top it all off with some feta cheese. So this is where I'm at right now in the process of making these. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to roll them up, put a toothpick in it so that they stay rolled. I'm then going to dip them in some egg milk con you know, concoction there. And then this here is my breadcrumb mix. Um, just panko breadcrumbs, some thyme, some garlic powder, some sea salt, some pepper, and some cayenne pepper. And some, did I say thyme? Thyme's in there too. Oh, and <clears throat> freshly grated Parmesan cheese. It smells so good. So, so, so good. So I'm going to roll these up, dip them, roll them, put them in here. And then when I get home from work, we're going to bake them. And they're going to be delicious. So I rolled the chicken rolls. <laughs> and they were messy. <laughs> they were a lot messy than anything I've ever rolled before. This is the, the leftover content that fell out, but that's all three of them, so I guess that's not all that bad. And they were little chicken pieces, too. I didn't get, like, giant chicken breasts, so here's what they look like sitting in the little container ready to be cooked. They don't take very long, either, because the chicken's so thin, the chicken cooks really fast, and it'll only take about 20 minutes total, 10 10 minutes on each side. I'll have to flip them over halfway. That's not that bad. I mean, for we'll be coming home at like seven after seven o'clock tonight, and being able to throw something in 
it takes 20 minutes to cook is not that bad at all. So I'm really excited. I think this, uh, they smell so good and they're not even cooked yet. So I can only imagine what they're going to taste like when they're actually done. So I'm excited. What I have here is a, a plemon. It's a plum and a lemon hybrid. Much like its cousin, the pluot, which is a plum and apricot. Those are so good. If you've never had a pluot before, go get some right now. This is, um, kind of, it's really interesting. It's got the flesh of a plum, but tastes like a subtle, like very subtle lemon, but you can taste it like it's, makes you want to pucker, but not as bad as if eating a straight lemon, so. It's very interesting. It's, it's definitely, you can like, you can taste both. Like it's really strange and it looks yellowishy orange, sort of. Hmm. I don't know if I'd eat these straight. I don't know what else you'd do with them, but. Hmm. It's not like you can squeeze it for its juice. It's not, it doesn't have juice pockets like a lemon would. It's like a fleshy lemon. It's not bad though. I'm back on the road again. Going to work. It's kind of weird having to go to work for an hour. It's different. Not something I'm looking forward to, of course. I wish I could just stay home. But like I said, I had to go pick Chris up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You know, like, it's an hour. I'll probably talk to like two people. Uh, knock on wood. I'll probably talk to more people than that.